Karen Daggett Austin, an integrative nutrition health coach and pure food advocate. Why true food? Well, if it's not organic and real, then it's not worth your money, your time, or your health to eat it. I had a ton of fun in Santa Rosa, California, enjoying the sights, the sounds, the food, and the wisdom at the 2015 Heirloom Expo and Pure Food Fair. So come along with me. Trading organic heirloom seeds is a huge feature of the expo. There is such a wide variety of fruits and vegetables you can't even imagine it. I mean the watermelon and squash tables alone were extraordinary. There was absolutely no shortage of organic and GMO free food to eat while you're at the expo. As a matter of fact, you could have anything from lamb burgers to pizza, kombucha, chocolate covered bananas, basically whatever you wanted and it was all organic and GMO free. <music> with one farmer who told me that it took him three years of field breeding to get this special tomato to turn this bright purple color that has the same component in it that blueberries do and it's it's high in antioxidants it was pretty incredible <music> to eat that beautiful food while sitting at picnic tables in the shade listening to bluegrass music live that was a pretty good plus <laughs> From organic chocolate to kale chips to kimchi to why it's important to plant organic seeds. I got to interview a whole bunch of vendors at the expo and I want you to meet them now. 
Okay, I'm just leaving the Moms Across America booth where I just did some volunteering this morning and it was totally awesome. I got to talk to lots of people about GMOs and organic food and now I'm in the vendor section. So many great vendors here. We're going to be um, talking to some of them, letting you know about some of their products and having a great time. So this place is filled with amazing stuff. Amazing stuff, lots of organics, there's fermented foods, um, filtered water, structured water, we're going to find out what that is, lots of seeds, amazing stuff. So here we go, come along with me. That is my, one of the, the three of us were best friends for 30 years, oh. and this is one of my partner's mother's yearbook picture from the 1940s. That is excellent. And she's 92 this year. Oh, that's excellent. And so we tease her and we say she started her modeling career at 88. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. So this She's is Whitney from Not Your Mama's Granola. And uh, this is a fantastic product. I've tried like all of your samples and I love it. So just tell us a little bit about it. Why is it special? Um, it's special because we don't add sugar, wheat, dairy, salt, or soy. We sweeten it with honey and they're very dense in nuts, fruit, and seeds. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And you um, are, it's available online? So it's online at uh, www.notyourmamas.com and it's not your, Y-E-R, yeah. <laughs> mamas.com. Excellent. And I'm the shipping department. There so. you go, that's excellent. And, and I ship anywhere, we use regional rates so they're really low. And what's your, what's your favorite flavor? Blueberry ginger. Blueberry ginger, yes. that sounds amazing. And I'm right now, because it's, we're in the middle of a heat wave, I have a blob of vanilla ice cream and a chop of a peach and a nectarine and a little bit of that on the top and they just love each other. Oh, that sounds perfect. It's or, perfect dinner. In, uh, in Europe, I just got back from Europe and okay. they do everything with yogurt, so yes. that would be another really great yes. option too. Okay, yes. well, thank you so much. This is Not Your Mama's Granola and this is Whitney and we appreciate it, everyone. And we're a Santa Rosa old lady company. <laughs> <laughs> we like that. All right, thanks so much. Okay. Hi, so this is Chris from Modesto Milling and Organic Feed, and they produce uh, GMO-free, USDA-certified um, feed for animals because when we eat the animals, we eat what they were fed. And Chris is just going to tell us a little bit about their feed and why it's unique. Hi, Chris. Hi. <laughs> All right, so why? what's different about your feed um, versus uh, conventional feed? You can pick oh, it it's in. a conventional feed. Well, I, in this organic space, I get to make feed that is focused on health and longevity versus conventional fee which is more for least cost rations and minimum body requirements. So it's a night and day differentiation in quality and also ingredients that I use. I like to use a lot of mined ingredients that have special properties of their own to bring a lot more to the table than uh, medicated feeds often. And I want to uh, people when they feed their chickens at home, their backyard, want their plumage to look bright and uh, the birds look healthy and, and that's the whole idea in the formulation, and bring that to effect. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thanks for what you're doing. We appreciate it. All sure. right. And you can, you can find their products in California and Oregon. Definitely. Yep. Okay. All right. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. I'm here with Kira and she's in the Theo chocolate booth and she's going to tell us a little bit about um, certified organic chocolate and fair trade and why that's important to shop for organic and fair trade items. So Theo is based in Seattle and it's the first chocolate factory in the U.S. to be certified fair trade and organic also non-GMO now, um, and the company is really committed to paying workers fair wage to the point where we actually pay higher than premium prices for the cocoa beans that we buy. The better quality the cocoa beans are, the more we're willing to pay, and that incentivizes the workers, the farmers, to learn more about the farming, to really refine their practices so that they can get more and more money for growing the best beans. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. Appreciate it. No problem. All right. See you chocolate, everyone. Bye. <laughs>
All right, I'm here with Nicholas, and this is he's from the Berlin Natural Bakery, and they utilize spelt. It's a grain that not many of you may know about, so he's going to talk a little bit about it. What, what's so great about spelt? Well, spelt is a very unique grain. We actually import all of our grain from Germany. They do grow it here in the United States, but the problem is most of the grain that's grown here has been cross-hybridized with wheat and other grains, and so it loses a lot of its original nutrition. So nutritionally, it carries about 30% more vitamins, minerals, and proteins than what's found in today's wheat, but also what kind of separates spelt from other grains is that it has a water-soluble base. And with that water solubility, it makes it easier for the body to recognize, to digest uh, through the system, and absorb the nutritional benefits of the grain as well. That is excellent. Well, I just had your pumpkin bread, and it's amazing. <laughs> and you guys sell online, or people Correct. Can get you can go onto our website, BerlinNaturalBakery.com. We have a complete uh, listing of all of our products. We have a number of different kinds of breads, ra ranging from uh, traditional white bread, along with whole grain and sprouted breads, hot dog buns, burger buns, pizza crusts, dinner rolls, noodles. You can buy our flour. So pretty much anything that you want to replace wheat with, we offer at our on our online store. Excellent. Thank you, Nicholas. You're welcome. Berlin Natural Bakery, everyone. Go for it. So here I am with Aruna from Volcano It Kimchi, and she makes everything from scratch, and she's from South Korea. Oh, okay. And um, no tell us no a little problem. bit about why it's important to eat fermented foods, and kimchi is, is a yummy choice. You can make a kimchi with any kind of vegetables, leafy vegetable to uh, root vegetables, and it's a pro biotic because you fermented and it helps your digestion. Right, help the digestive system. Well, yours is really awesome. This is what is this? Hikama? Did you say? You do. Uh, this, I mean, is a, this is a hikama kimchi Sorry, and daikon sure. radish and a napa cabbage. It's all vegan and organic. Vegan and organic. Yeah. That's important. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. It yeah. tastes great. Thank you. Appreciate it. So right now I have Jim from Wood Prairie Farm and he carries a whole bunch of amazing organic products, uh, seed potatoes, like seeds, vegetable seeds, and he's an expert on organic seeds. So I'm going to let him tell you why it's important to um, choose organic seeds and organic products rather than conventional seeds. Well, it's a natural thing that if you buy organic food when you go to the grocery store, it's only natural that when you have a garden, you're going to want to plant seed that was raised organically. The best organic seed are varieties that have been selected to perform best under organic conditions. And when you have a variety that is grown organically, um, uh, raised into seed, that seed will perform better as an, uh, in an organic garden. So what we want, you know, we know it's hard work to have a garden and you want to start with the best possible seed to ensure the best results and that means starting with organic seed. Right. And what about um, conventional seeds? I've heard that some of them are coated with um, chemicals or fertilizers. Is that is that true that you might purchase in the store? A packet of seeds might have... It, it's very common uh, for conventional seed to be treated with sometimes neonicotinoid systemic uh, insecticides and for decades there have been uh, treatment of uh, fungicides, CAPTAN or Thyram. So uh, these are uh, strong poisons. Uh, everyone knows that the neonicotinoids are being uh, accused of being very bad for pollinators. Um, so when you're uh, purchasing that you can be introducing those chemicals into your soil. Uh, more importantly possibly is the fact that seed is the one, one of the most heavily sprayed crops, agricultural crops grown in the United States. They are exempt from um, government uh, limitations on the amount of pesticides applied because they're not designed for food consumption. So they tend to uh, be very valuable per acre and the seed companies kind of have a scorched earth attitude towards raising seed and they want all weeds, all insects, all diseases eliminated so that they'll get the maximum yield so that they'll have the most seed and the most profit. And that kind of scorched earth uh, policy when it comes to these harsh synthetic chemicals is not good for the land, it's not good for the area that it's grown in, it's not good for the people that are using that seed. So organic seed uh, is superior in that it performs uh, better for the organic gardener it's better for the land, better for the planet, it's better for our community. So buying organic seed is really what people ought to be doing just as they're sourcing out good, solid, 
family of scale, organic, local seed and food in their grocery store and in their farm stands. Excellent, excellent. And your products, we can get them online? Yes, we have. We have customers in all 50 states. Okay. Uh, we've been farming for 40 years and we've been doing mail order for over 25 years. Uh, we have a website uh, that's at www.woodprairiefarm.com. Uh, and we sell organic seed potatoes and other organic vegetable seed, cover crop seed, and even some uh, grains and vegetables that we raise. We sell that all through the mail, ship it across the country. Thank you so much for what you do. Thank you for the information, and I just, I appreciate it. Thank I you. I really appreciate it. All right, thank you. The speakers' thank panels at the expo were incredible. They shared a wealth of information on everything from how to grow an organic garden, to GMOs in our food supply, and how to understand food labeling in the grocery store. Now any trip to Santa Rosa, California has got to include a stop at Amy's drive through Amy's is a 100% GMO free, 95% organic drive through restaurant. It's the only one in America. It has incredible food. It's kid friendly. Um, you can get anything from pizza to macaroni and cheese with broccoli in it. Specialty salads, veggie burgers and fries. Um, organic milkshakes and they even make their soda on site. It's pretty awesome. We're here at Amy's drive through in Santa Rosa, California, the first and only all GMO free, 95% organic drive through in America. Hopefully they're setting the trend. Hopefully they'll come all over the United States so we can each have one in our hometown. And the line is really long goes around the building. It's about 16 cars long. So we're eating inside today, which is beautiful. There's also outdoor eating here. There's their famous cool sign. Anyway, looking forward to it. We ordered some great stuff. bike racks that encourage people to use their own energy to the beautiful flower plantings, the outdoor dining. This place is awesome. Love their motto. Yep.
Thanks for coming along with me on this journey through the 2015 Heirloom Expo. I hope you enjoyed it. Listen, if you have any other questions or you want more information about anything from the Expo, check out the description box below this video and I'll have links there for you to look at. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and um, visit me at my website, truefoodcoach.com. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.